Hi, and welcome to lesson 9. This lesson will be on a single photon QKD, and particularly on the first uh, single photon QKD protocol known as BB84. So step 1, what are the three phases of cryptographic secure communication? So secure communication proceeds roughly in the following three phases. First, the parties need to authenticate each other, meaning that they, they identify to each other that they are really the parties that they want to communicate with and not somebody else. Then they have to generate a key that they will use for encoding their message. After the key is generated, they can get into encoding their message and encrypt their data, send it to the other party where it will be decrypted. So, authentication between Alice and Bob usually proceeds in the following, following way. So first, Alice says that I'm Alice to Bob. Then Bob can say, okay, you're Alice, I'm Bob. But then also, anybody could say that. So the question is, why should I believe you? Why should I trust you? Why are you really the person that you're claiming to be? And Bob, of course, has the same question. So generally, the message and the procedure, how uh, two parties can authenticate each other is who are you, what do you have, and what do you know? And in particular, the last one is quite important because you know that the party that you are trying to communicate knows something, for example, like a public key or a pre-shared search secret. And that can be used as an authentic authentication device. So, after authentication, they have to generate a key. Now, the key is then will be subsequently used for encrypting the message. And the key can be, for example, there are many different uh, ways of uh, exchanging keys, uh, such as Diffie-Hellman key exchange uh, is one such method. But the problem with the key is that once it is generated, it can be used, but it can be used forever it always has to be changed, and it has to be changed frequently in order to ensure that the data is encrypted in a secure manner. So once the key is generated, Alice can encrypt her message with the key, she can send it to Bob, where Bob will use his, generated, his part of the generated key to decrypt the message and read it. And common forms are, are the following, DES, 3DES, AES. Uh, less common one is one-time pad. And we will describe what one-time pad is. Sometimes it's known as the Vernum cipher. 